all of you understood i, I hope right plug gauge it is used to check the hole of the component only to check the hole of the component go means it has to enter no go means it should not enter right this example i what i have shown is with respect to threaded plug gauge one more video was there here uh, here i wanted to show it again and the, uh, the, it, the same thing what i have shown over here but with respect to the plane plane uh, this one plane plug gauges go and no go right this is what the limit gauge similarly what i have shown uh, that one uh, this single ended go not go plug gauges right see if the plug gauge are normally double ended of size up to 63 mm if the component size is 63 mm the plug gauge what they are going to use is double ended suppose if the component size is more than 63 mm as you see seen in the video the component is more than 63 mm the size of the nut is too big one for that reason the person they have used a single ended <coughs> single ended plug gauge threaded plug gauge right for the sizes above 63 it is single ended if the size of the component is smaller than the 63 mm then they are going to use the single double ended like this double ended or is this one standard plug gauges like this this is the plain single and double ended plug gauges now we will see the progressive type of plug gauge here progressive type i hope all of you are able to understand what i am telling right progressive type of plug gauge you can see over here as compared to the previous one figure these things either it can be single or it can be double single or double here in this case it is having the two gauges at the one end itself one is go end another one is no go end progressive you can see over here in the figure this is the go this is the no go see this type of gauge is used when the component is having the through holes through hole right see here both go and no go ends are be arranged in the same side of the plug it is the use the use of the plug gauge ends progressively one after the other while checking the hole if the component is having a through hole with a different size go and no go gauge will be used progressive form of uh, plug gauge this for smaller through holes progressive form of plug gauges are used both no and no go gauges are on the same side separated by a small distance this you can see over here a small distance or here you can see over here a small distance this has to enter this should not enter progressive type of plug gauge depending on the component depending on the type of uh, component the shape they want to use that sort of uh, uh, plug gauges it can be plain plug gauge it can be single ended double ended it can be threaded or it can be progressive type of plug gauges any of this can be used in the mass production to inspect the component not to check the actual dimension you see in the two videos there is no checking of actual dimension he is not noting down any of the readings just to inspect whether it is component is acceptable or rejected so that is the limit gauge this is uh, like i told the double ended progressive type of slip gauge or single ended this is the use of it how the component will be used right just you remember go means it has to enter no go means it should not enter the component is acceptable otherwise if reverse is there then the component is not acceptable there is a simple rule go gauge always represent maximum metal condition not go represent always least metal condition there is one more type of plug gauge it is called shell form of plug gauge shell form of plug gauge you can see the sentence over here for the dimension over 100 mm what here i have shown single ended plug gauge will be used this single ended plug gauge will be used if the component size is 63 or less sorry 63 or more right if the component size is 63 or less double ended plug gauge is used right if the component size is 63 mm or more then single ended plug gauge will be used suppose if the component size is over 100 mm the dimension of the hole 
100 millimeter and up to 250 millimeter then shell form of plug gauges are used based on the size of the component which is inspected different plug gauge will be used this is called shell form of plug gauge it, the arrangement of this it is little bit different compared to the previous one rather than having the plug steel plug it will be look like the i section right? these two ends this represent the diameter 100 to 250 millimeter the size of the the nut or the size of the hole of the component which you wish to inspect then they want to use the shell form of plug cage and it is again single only so here here it is go here it is not go and here it is mentioned as 170 that means now at present this figure what it represent is the size of the component which is going to inspect is 170 millimeter because here 100 to 250 millimeter type of uh, uh, hole can be inspected shell form of plug cage understood right go not go or go and no go plug cages this is about the plug cage one more is there ring gauge right till now uh, till this any doubt over here plug gauges any doubt plug gauges i hope all of you clear right we are looking at the diagram or the video what i have shown plug gauge is used to inspect the hole if the diameter of the hole is 63 millimeter or less they are going to use double ended if the size of the hole is more than 63 millimeter and less than 100 millimeter they are going to use the single ended if it is 100 to 250 millimeter then they are going to use shell form of plug cage this is with respect to hole only right what i have discussed with till now all with respect to hole only next what we are going to discuss is ring gauge right as per the the gauge what you can see over here in able to um, tell that one that this is used to check the shaft right because the arrangement is it can be inserted into the shaft only it cannot be inserted into the hole right so ring gauges are used for gauging the shaft gauging means checking right inspecting the shafts only previous one plug gauge it used to check the only the holes whereas this it is used to inspect only the shafts you can see the figure also here the concept is similar go not go go being able to insert it has to pass through the shaft no go it should not enter into the shaft right lower limit upper limit go gauge always will be designed with respect to maximum middle condition no go gauge with respect to least middle condition this is the shaft for the shaft right see the figure here right ah, here right one more time i have added the same figure i told in the previous one this is the most uh, important one everything is included in one figure you can able to have the figure you can i will share that in the whatsapp now right or else you take a screenshot or a snapshot if you want this it is not there in the textbook right so here in the, as per this is concerned ring gauge you are going to check the shaft in this figure the bottom three figure represent it is the shaft right the bottom three figure represent the shaft this is <coughs> smallest shaft or lower limit of the shaft this is largest shaft or upper limit of the shaft with respect to this here they are used in similar manner to that of the go and no go plug gauges what we previously discussed the same thing it is used for that but instead of hole here it is used to measure the shaft of the component right? the ring gauge consists of two piece metal which a hole required to size is board right go and no go gauge go no go gauge go gauge always represent maximum metal condition no go gauge represent always least metal condition now we are discussing is with respect to shaft that's why go gauge here it will be with respect to largest shaft upper limit of the shaft with respect to shaft no go gauge is with respect to lower limit of the shaft if you take the hole it is reverse and the last class also told right go gauge 
this is always common go gauge represent mmc no go gauge represent lmc but depends on hole or shaft we can able to check that one whether it is for ll or ul in this case now what we are discussing is the shaft because it is a ring gauge it is used to check only the shaft so shaft is here so go gauge means it is designed with respect to upper limit of the shaft go gauge if we take the hole go gauge is respect to lower limit of the shaft don't get confused that's why number of time this uh, image has been uh, posted multiple times so that you get used to it don't get confused right the go gauge you can see this figure go gauge see that line from this plane to this plane what it represent represent upper limit right this go gauge here from this line to this line it represent upper limit of the shaft go gauge represent upper limit of the shaft so here go gauge represent upper limit of the shaft this is shaft largest shaft represent upper limit ul understood no right similarly here if you take this figure no go gauge no go gauge represent see the line no go gauge represent lower limit of the shaft lower limit of the shaft see this figure no go gauge represent lower limit of the shaft smallest shaft or lower lower shaft that's why this figure is important this is the ring gauge this is what the figure uh, the gauge what you can able to see over here <coughs> see not to make the operator to analyze whether they are using whether the go or no go gauge sometimes it is been colored you can see the color over here it has been red red color indicate it is no go not go if no color is there it is go gauge go ring gauge to check the shaft this also used in the mass production only mass inspection similar to plug gauge this is called ring gauge right there are different types of uh, different uh, uh, shapes or this uh, this uh, forms of the ring gauge what you can able to see in some um, component some companies they will prepare the ring gauge with respect to this you can see over here this is a red dot is there red dot represent it is no go because in the mass production the inspection is taking much very uh, quicker rate very quick and fast the operator even though he may not be skilled operator he may use this in place of this not to avoid that they may give the color coding red this may get uh, covered by hand by using it but this will not get cover you can able to see it visible clearly that it is no go right no go red color but here there is no color that means it is go gauge ring gauge to measure the shaft of the component whether it can be plain shaft or it can be threaded shaft in the figure also it is being shown over here right this is the strip red color strip what i have shown right go and no go gauge more video is there right so all of you hope understood about this ring gauge right it is used to check the shaft it is used similar to that of the plug gauge only go no go no go should not enter into the shaft go it has to enter into the shaft it does not measure the dimension of the component it just inspect the component whether it is acceptable or not acceptable this is the ring gauge these are all called considered as inspection gauges or inspection tools go no go ring gauge always go represent maximum metal condition you can see the figure right no go represent always it is least metal condition because it is a shaft that's why go represent to the upper limit of the shaft no go low lower limit or ll of the shaft similarly here for the hole for the plug gauge what i show what i told in the earlier one right one more gauge is there it is called snap gauge right the snap gauge or the one gauges <coughs> used to gauge the shaft to ascertain whether the dimension of the shaft are well within the tolerance limits or not right these are like the plug gauges these are also been hardened and stabilized wear resisting steel 
so this is what the snap gauge it is like a thin plate or a sheet on these having the these are the gauges right uh, these are the uh, faces parallel faces where you can able to measure the component suppose in the previous one plug gauge which is used to check the hole ring gauge it is used to check the shaft suppose if the component is not round not uh, it is not a shaft or not uh, a hole apart from those it is having sub sub uh, other size or other shape if it is not round then also it is possible for the gauges to do the measurement by using the snap gauges even the component is not uh, cylindrical one still you can able to do the inspection and that tool which is used for that it is called as snap gauge here also single ended double ended snap gauge is available this is double ended snap gauge here the dark line what you can see over here this is the red marking on the snap gauge you can see over here in the figure the red line the red line represent always it is the no go one right whereas here it is the go side it is no go side not go right it is parallel faces you can have little bit of adjustment for these parallel faces to check it the double ended snap gauges are used for the size ranging from 3 to 100 mm if the component size is from 3 to 100 mm they want to use this type of double ended snap gauges one side is go other side is not go this has to pass through the component this should not pass it right it need not to be cylindrical component it can be of other shape size of shape also to inspect the double ended snap gauge this gauge is having two ended right the go anvil is made to the lower limit the no go uh, anvil is made to the upper limit of the shaft <coughs> this is known as solid snap gauge double ended here this is progressive snap gauge progressive progressive like i told in the previous plug gauge also both will be on the same side go no go gauge this is adjustable you can see over here a little bit of adjustable progressive form of snap gauge this is the handle for holding purpose and this is the one which inspect see now this when it will be used when the size of the component is 100 up to 250 mm single ended progressive type of snap gauges are used if it is 3 to 100 mm they going to use double ended snap gauges next topic is the materials used for gauges because gauge is also a component right this is been fabricated or produced for this what are the different materials that can be used to prepare it these are some of the materials which is which can be used to prepare the gauges the most common one is hcs i carbon steel this is the percentage of carbon or it consists of 0.8 to 1% of carbon the most common type of material used to prepare the gauges can be plug ring or the snap gauge i carbon steel before going for this i will tell about this case hardened steel right case hardening steel case hardening case hardening in the sense the top layer or surface hardening it is also called surface hardening case hardening or surface hardening the component surface is harder but inside it is having the soft nature it is called case hardening it is a technique in which the metal surface reinforced by adding the another fine layer at the top right only the surface is hardened inside is having the soft metal case hardened steel suppose if the gauge is not being hardened using this particular type suppose if a gauge is try to manufacture by using this material case hardened steel <clears throat> and during this type of hardening if the gauge will tend to become crack at that time they will go for this mild steel ms right mild steel material in this case if it is getting cracks while doing this case hardening then they will go for this mild steel material 
because mild steel all, all of you know that one it is low carbon steel right low carbon steel content it is both having the ductility and malleability properties it will not get easily get cracks or fracture if this is not possible they'll go for this but overall this is the one which is mostly used hcs high carbon steel to produce the gauges another uh, different uh, material is oil hardened steel when the component that is the gauge is manufactured in very huge quantities then this type of metal will be used material will be used it is somewhat like this quenching it oil hardened means this is oil you might have heard right while preparing the sword the hardening of the material is very much important it will be heated then it will be quenched in the oil oil hardened steel this is another material by oil hardened material what are the material going to get that can be used to produce the gauge that is required in huge quantities another one is plating and hard alloys plating chromium platings from the aesthetic point of view if the component or the measuring uh, uh, inspecting tool we what is required having any plating should be done chromium plating or any other plating that material will having that polished surface at that time they are going to use this type of material cast iron is also there it is used for the bodies or the frame only for the frame making not to prepare the go and no go cages just to make the uh, handles or the bodies frame where the person is actually holding the component the cast iron <clears throat> then even glass can also be used but it is not at all used for the gauges it is the least uh, material used glass because it is having very brittle in nature once if it is dropped this will get fracture easily the gauge because gauge is a standard tool used to check the component it is not at all versatile glass the application of this is very very less but some cases they can use this glass also to prepare the gauges because glass is having the another positive thing is that the glass is having the thermal expansion it is very less right it can able to withstand the more heat right and also uh, less corrosive in nature glass maybe for that reason some places somewhere it can be used to prepare the gauges but it is not at all used in uh, for to prepare gauges most commonly glass another thing is inwar it is 36% nickel alloy alloy means it is a combination which has lowest thermal expansion among all the other metals and it is approximately around 230 degree centigrade it is able to withstand inwar this also can be used to prepare the gauges plug ring or the snap gauges but the most common thing among these things is high carbon steel if you see the video question paper which i have sent to you the eight question papers once it was asked explain the materials used for preparing the gauges around five marks or four marks it has been asked once right there you have to explain these uh, types of materials used to prepare the gauges the most common is hcs high carbon steel because it is much more versatile cost is also less compared to other because the usage it is more high carbon content we are resisting will be more because higher the carbon content it will become more stronger it will not tend to be easily worn out because each time it has to insert into the component it has to inspect it has to come in contact with other component so these are the materials which is used which can be used to prepare the gauges among this hcs is the 